The Army's optionally manned fighting vehicle program, now redesigned as the XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle, announced that a contract for prototypes will be awarded to two vendors, General Dynamics Land Systems Incorporated and American Rhine Metal Vehicles, LLC. The two vendors will prepare prototypes of a vehicle to replace the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle which is a tracked vehicle designed for reconnaissance and provides protection, transportation, and small arms firepower for squad elements. The total award value for both contracts is approximately $1.6 billion. The XM-30 will replace the Bradley Fighting Vehicle, bringing new transformational capabilities to the fight. These will include improvements to lethality, soldier vehicle survivability, and upgradability beyond the physical and economic limits of the Bradley, said Honorable Douglas R. Bush, Assistant Secretary of the Army, Acquisition, Logistics, and Technology. The modular open system architecture of the XM-30 will allow new building technology to be added to the vehicle as that technology matures, ensuring an overwhelming advantage in any potential adversary competition. The OMFV program is part of the Army's modernization strategy. The Next Generation Combat Vehicle program aims at updating several vehicles and weapons platforms used in the Army today. Part of advancing and modernizing the Army is seeking the best designs through competitive contracts. Competition remains a vital aspect of the XM-30, Bush said. The program opened the door for industry partners that are not traditional U.S. combat vehicle prime contractors, which allows for increased competition and innovation. This reduced the Army's risk and increased our likelihood of success while balancing investments across the entire Army modernization enterprise. The Bradley started being used in 1981 and is an infantry fighting vehicle used to transport infantry on the battlefield and support dismounted troops. It has been updated over the years but has reached its technological limits. Modernization is a central element of Army transformation, which provides capability and lethality for our soldiers, said General James Rainey, Commanding General of Army Futures Command. The nature of our adversary's actions and intent amid rapid and disruptive technological change demands that the Army continue to transform. Milestones like announcements for XM-30 demonstrate we are on a sustainable path to equip today's soldiers with modern equipment while we invest in the technologies and systems necessary to build the Army of 2030. In recent years, peer and near-peer competitors of the United States have significantly increased their combat vehicle capabilities. The character of warfare has changed and our potential adversaries are bringing increased value to the battlefield," said Brigadier General Joffrey Norman, director of Next Generation Combat Vehicles. Concerns over the impact on the effectiveness of an outdated vehicle during full-spectrum military operations gave rise to the decision to modernize the Bradley. The best way to respond is to ensure that our formations are equipped with infantry fighting vehicles, which can bring greater survivability, powerful lethality at standoff range, and improved maneuver capabilities to the battlefield, Norman said. The XM-30 combines transformative improvements in lethality, vehicle and soldier survivability, and upgradability that are beyond the physical and economic limits of the Army's Bradley Fighting Vehicle. The Army's Program Executive Officer for Ground Combat Systems, Major General Glenn Dean, said, The XM-30 program has been highly successful. The Army's iterative conception and digital design approach combined with increased emphasis on competition, 
continues to allow the program to quickly design a transformational capability for the Army of 2030 and beyond. The XM-30 will deliver improved capabilities using 21st century technologies developed in a digital acquisition environment. During the subsequent two phases of the program, the Army will conduct activities to mature XM-30 designs and verify prototype performance during test activities, including a limited user test. The awardees must deliver up to 11 prototype vehicles two ballistic hulls and turrets, armor coupons, and digital engineering data. Following the detailed design and prototype build and testing phases, the Army intends to have a limited competition to down-select one vendor at Milestone C near the end of fiscal year 2027, with the first unit equipped anticipated in fiscal year 2029. These same vendors will then compete based on demonstrated platform performance in a limited competition for XM30 low rate initial production, said Dean. The Army continues to drive a process that will bring today's most advanced technology into the XM30. Through digital engineering and modular open system architecture, the XM30 team will be able to integrate future technologies rapidly. The XM30 is now under development. Several key features have been outlined for the vendors in their prototype. Two soldiers to operate and carry capacity for six more, a 50 millimeter cannon and a remote turret, and anti-tank guided missiles. Weapon systems on the XM30 will be designed to use the latest sensor and fire control systems. The XM30 will also be designed with sustainability and mobility in mind, as it will feature a hybrid electric powertrain, which will reduce power consumption, Norman said. The occupants will benefit from innovative force protection systems that include integrated active protection systems, kitted armor, and innovative signature management capabilities from the very beginning, Norman said. All of these advances are being designed with modern digital engineering in a modular, open systems approach that will allow for rapid integration of the latest hardware and software in the future. The XM-30 meets the Army's requirements for a transformational increase in warfighting capability, not simply another incremental improvement over the Bradley fighting vehicle, Norman said. A modernization effort is planned to replace the M113 armored personnel carrier and M1 Abrams tank and develop a light tank for infantry brigade combat teams. There are also plans for three versions of robotic combat vehicles.